Hi guys, hope you're going well. Uh, today we will uh, use the nano mesh uh, features from ZBrush. Uh, I know some of you wanted the more tutorials about the array mesh, but for me the nano mesh is something like uh, stronger than the the array mesh, and I use it uh, to make this tree and this kind of tree that is procedural, so I can always change the number of leaf and stuff like that. So. Uh, let's see how to do it. So I will start with a simple cylinder here. Uh, let me bring back to the default settings. All right. And I will just use this uh, cylinder to make my trunk. So I would just scale it that way. Something very easy to do. I will scale down two, but that's just because I want to to get a good size on my uh, brushes. So let me make three. Polymesh 3D, you see if I want to use like my brush, he is not big enough, so I like to work with a very, very small uh, uh, tool. He is cool. And then I want to uh, make some um, a kind of taper, I mean, because the, the, the wood should be larger. So for that, I will use the taper in deformation, but I will use it on the uh, let me zoom it on the y axis. So turn on the y axis and turn off the x and z axis. And then if you use the taper, you can see you can just modify. Here's um, I mean the the thickness of the tip. So I will do something pretty short. Let me zoom here. All right, that's fair enough for me. And then I will use this uh, trunk to make my branches, my branches, sorry. So for that, I will just say create insert mesh brush, say new one. And then I want to create nano mesh brush. That's it. On my, uh, on my sub tool here, I will just use a mask and Control W to get another poly group. Then with my brush, I will press. So here the Z modeler here is my insert mesh brush, uh, my nano mesh brush. Sorry. If you press the space bar, you got actually the Z modeler uh, settings. I would just say poly group all. So when I will insert my nano mesh, it will insert my nano mesh on each faces with this poly group and drag it. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now I can go to the nano mesh uh, sub palette here and I will change the size. All right. I will uh, modify the rotation of it. Uh, so let's back to zero here and uh, the rotation, I want the, the wood to be uh, on the surface here. Oh, sorry. So to do it, I will just check which one is a good one. So not this one apparently. Yes, should be this one. So let's say uh, 90 in X rotation. And then I will offset the position, uh, in, not in X, so in Y, yep. 1.1 1 .1 should be fair enough, nice. And then since I don't want like something very regular like, like this one, I will just use, I uh, will change the size first. And then I will use here the random distribution with a pretty small amount, something, yeah, maybe more 0 0.2 or 0 0.3, yeah. Then I will modify the rotation, yeah, to get something going up like that and add sod, some of our variation here. So let's say they're like 10 maybe and 10 here too. Okay. Not too bad. I will add some uh, variation for the length of my branches. So the length is here. I will just add some variation here. All right. Okay. Of course, right now that's very, very straight uh, shape. So I can, of course, change the shape of my trunk. And because I use nano mesh, like something pretty um, interactive, 
it won't change the position of my branches. So I can easily move it and it won't break anything. So let me jack add some variation a little bit. Uh, for example, and of course I want some variation um, deformation for my branches too. And to do it, it's pretty easy. You, in the nano mesh settings here, you got the edit mesh button. So if you press it, you will see uh, your um, nano mesh brush. Actually, it should show you uh, the base, base mesh because it uses split screen, but I don't know why sometimes it don't work. Uh, and don't work right now, so that's okay. I will just add some variation, something like that, and then turn off the nano mesh, and here we go. You can modify it uh, as you want, of course. Maybe I want like yeah, bigger branches and maybe less, so zero dot two. Okay, be careful of the offset. So let me say one now one dot zero one one dot zero three. Okay, that's pretty good. Then I want to get some other uh, shorter uh, branches. So what I will do is I will just duplicate my sub tool here, and on this one I will modify the number so something like very very small. 0 0.001 oh, let me see okay 0 0.03 yeah that's fine I will change the length so okay nice you can you, you can use sorry the roundup seed if you want to try something else so there's a seed here Maybe the left is too big. I want a little bit less, so. Okay. And maybe I did the mesh again. Okay, that's fine. And this one, I want to uh, convert this one to a nano mesh brush. So to do it, uh, you can go to the inventory here and it could work if you say all two brushes but I'm not sure uh, let me try it should be working but I'm not sure let me just try to insert uh, my brush here no it didn't work maybe I don't use the right one or convert to nano mesh. Let me see. Oh, sorry. Did it work? I think so. No, it didn't. Okay. I won't do that way. I will just say uh, one to mesh. So it will convert my nano mesh into a mesh. And then I will say insert mesh, new one, and nano mesh. Go back to the first sub tool here and say uh, nano mesh one to mesh. Okay, on this one I will use the all poly group and insert my brush. Nice. It's pretty small, so I need to change the size here, and I will straight define a very small short amount. Okay, uh, try to get the correct rotation and the position. Nice. Let me see something bigger. And okay, so there's too many branches, so 0 0.01 maybe, maybe bigger. And I will add some rotation. Mm that way 
Okay, the position is not the perfect one, so did I use the right? Okay, here we go. Perfect. And I will say uh, one to mesh. Oh, let me see. Yeah, I want to mesh, it's okay. Um, here we go. Then I will uh, just create a leaf. So maybe I would just get this one that I made before, like a very simple one. And just say insert this one, okay. This leaf, I will say create insert mesh, new one, create nano mesh. Always the same thing. And then here, I can uh, uh, bring some color first to my uh, to my tree. So get a brown color, say fill object, and I will just okay. And then I will um, use my uh, nano mesh to all pre group and bring my leaf. Here we go. Then change the size, always the same thing, actually, it's pretty easy. Change the number, find the core, the, the right rotation axis, uh, should be this one, and the offset, maybe bigger. Okay, put some variation here. So if I want to, I can say like. Uh, five, five, or maybe more, maybe 25. Yep. If you don't see the color um, on your leaf, it's because you didn't add color to the tree before, but you can always um, modify that by say mesh material and it will bring the color back. Nice. Then I will add more leaf, but I won't recreate another one. I will just uh, use, for example, like these small branches here and insert my leaf. I don't see them, but I guess it is on it. Mm, not sure, actually. Let me see. Ah, here. It is. And so now I have two nano mesh on my, over my tree and I can see that be, by the index here. So the first one is I said hide other, it will hide the short one and the second index here. I can go back to the first one and say copy, then to the second one say paste. So I will get the same um, rotation, all the settings here will be the same, but because uh, the surface is smaller, the leaf are smaller too, and I can always change, so let's say something shorter and maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, I need to change the offset too. And here we go. So turn off the eye mode. And here we go. And you can always change the number of leaves, so I can say uh, on the first index, can say uh, I want more leaf and I can add some leaf somewhere else too if I want uh, or I can convert it to a nano mesh brush and insert it back so you never finish but that's very cool because uh, you can get different shapes um, by changing just some settings here so that's something very interactive and uh, yeah, I really love these uh, features uh, on ZBrush. So hope you like it too. And let me know in the comments if you want to, to see some specific stuff uh, uh, with ZBrush. I guess the next tutorial will be about art surface uh, uh, modeling for making a gun. I think so. See you later, bye.